Do 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 the busted button. Oh man, here we go again. Um, we were trying to decide what we're gonna do first. So I think we're gonna run to the call the station Goodwill, which is really close to us. And then we're gonna go have some, you guessed it, <laughs> Mexican food. And then we're gonna go to the Brian Goodwill. But uh, it's been a pretty, pretty, pretty good week for us. Uh, sales were kind of slow during the week and then the last couple of days it's picked up a little bit but yeah, last week was it, it's been, it's been pretty slow off and on I think but I think that's typical of summertime yeah it's it'll uh, seasons will start changing and uh, it'll pick up a little bit but business as usual guys let's uh, let's go to these goodwills and see what we can find see you in just a minute All right, guys, we walked right in and hit a jackpot here. Unusual to, to walk in and find this many right in a row, but we got lucky. So it's Peter Millar, good size, XL. This one's Summer Comfort. It'll sell for a little bit more. But uh, these will probably list for $30 a piece. Hi, uh, we'll probably end up getting $25 a piece for them. So that's a good find right off the bat. You find it all? You did? Yeah. I didn't find anything, man. I got a Patagonia um, cover here. And then... What you got here? It's an Eileen Fisher top. A James Laughlin dress. And some Judy Blues. Judy Blues. Uh -huh. And some... You did hit the jackpot. Oh, some J. Jill pants. And some very nice fakes that are half price. Yeah. I didn't find anything on that side of the store. Nothing. No. Yeah. Did you look at the dresses? I haven't looked at those yet. Okay, I'll go over there. Okay. Right. She gave me a task, so I gotta gotta follow through here. See, she did me right. Sent me over to the dresses, and I found something really good. I'm pretty sure it's linen, and it's another J. Jill. And I hit this aisle up just about every day on my lunch break, and this was not here the other day. So there were some pretty good donations this weekend. Ten bucks, that's not bad for that at all. Probably list it for 40, get 35. So that'll go on the card for sure. Probably won't get lucky enough to be back to back here. Knox Rose, Caution to the Wind. That may be something. Let me ask Kelly, she's right here. Hey, Caution to the Wind? Caution to the wind? No, I couldn't remember if it was or not. Right, I'd had usually have to look that up since she was here. That made it easy. Uh oh, Beach and Free People Beach. Right there. I don't know. We'll let Kelly decide. She's really the uh, deciding factor when it comes to women's stuff. I don't know. I thought I'd let you decide. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? We'll try it again. I don't yeah. know. I, I have this. I don't know how I feel about free people because yeah, I know. It used to do really well, and now it does not do so well. But let me show you this while you're filming. So. This had a tag on it that came from, look, The Real Real. real. Yeah, so no I'm looking way. the brand up right now. It's, um, where is it? It's Neil Barrett. I've never heard of that, but I'm looking it up. Well, yeah, if it's got, you, if, if you don't know what The Real Real is, yeah. it's a high end um, place you can send to resell stuff. Yeah, so. She's looking it up right now. Okay, Neil Barrett dress, 149 listed. 10 sold. Oh, not even any dresses, really. I still think it's probably worth it. One dress. Gosh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'll probably pick it up. Look at that one. Is it $629 full price for that Neil Barrett dress? Good find, though. If anything, I could just send it back to you. <laughs> there you go. You take that. Okay. 
So I'm going to try to talk continuously and loud the whole time so I can uh, maybe not get a copyright strike over this loud ass music. But it looks like Kelly found some really, really nice Judy Blues and flare legs are in style right now. So that's, gonna, that's excellent. I got some. Uh, this is not a brand that I found before. It's, um, hang on, it's Aritzia. Wow. Williford. Um, they're regularly $128. Dang. So I'll pick them up. And they're linen. And then I had, yeah. to, I had to look these up because I weren't sure. I wasn't sure if they're still selling, but they are. They so are. So vintage Rockies. We haven't found, I haven't found Rockies in a long time. It's been a while. So yeah. that's, that's so an excellent I'll find. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep yeah. going. We got all these aisles to go down. So we're going to find something else. I guarantee it. Yeah. So we would usually never buy this brand. I wouldn't say never, but we don't really keep an eye out for it. But both of these were, they're Zara, and it's new with tags. Yeah. Both of them are like 69 And then I came over here, and there's several more <laughs> uh, Zara outfits, if I can find them. There, here's another one. New with tags. So I think we're going to, I think we're going to pick them up. But there's there's several more. There's at least two or three more in here. But yeah, not a bad find. We're gonna get it. So I found this brand. It's Lily's Ooh. Closet, and I'm gonna let Kelly check it out because it says that it's Anthropology when I look it up. I don't think it is, but oh. I looked at the tag. Lily's Closet. So it's cute. That I mean, is cute, isn't it? Yeah. It's so yeah. It's Unless I missed it, I don't have my glasses on, but I didn't see it. But. No. We'll look it up and we'll see. Right, right. Yeah, it's cute though. Isn't it? yeah. All right, so we're checking out. Kelly did find a couple more things that was worth picking up. Uh, a pair of shorts. yeah, Lulu shorts. Yeah. Two pairs of those. One of them have a little bit of a stain on the bottom side, if you know what I mean. But <laughs> he's gonna try to bleach it out. Bleach them. A couple of J Jill dresses. These are really yeah. nice. These just sell sell really well for yeah. us. And I know someone, we keep harping on it. Yeah. Gifted me Ooh. keeping. <laughs> hit the yeah. jackpot we needed it with all that zara stuff right. because it's gonna add up but yeah all right so one of the viewers asked me to do a what sold on ebay so i'm gonna do that now i'm just gonna add it into this video i didn't have a lot of footage for the last one and uh, i thought this would be a good time to put it in so let's let's get going on it i'm just gonna go down the list and i'm gonna show you the good with the bad um you know we don't always um, buy the best stuff to resell. You know, we've gotten a lot better over the last three years that we've, we've done it. And we're still getting rid of inventory that we had three years ago. And a lot of it was stuff that dropped off of eBay and we resold it. But we'll just dive right into it. So the first one that we found, or the first one that we sold here recently, was a Soft Surroundings uh, tunic. And we listed it for 30 And I think we got full price for this one. And, you know, we always talk about soft surrounding a lot. And it is our, one of our bread and butter items. Uh, every time we list it, it, it doesn't last very long and it goes pretty quickly. And uh, it's a solid brand for us. That's why we keep buying it. And, that, you know, that's why we list it. Go back here see the next item that sold. Okay, so this is one of the ones that we bought probably a long time ago. And we accepted the offer for $10. And we just wanted to get rid of that out of our inventory because it just it just doesn't sell free some some free people stuff will sell and some of it will sit there in your inventory forever and evidently jeans are one of them we probably did not have this listed outrageously the first time we, we listed it it fell off and kelly relisted it and we took an offer for ten dollars just to get our money back so that's where we are on that one next item another free people so in this one we actually it looks like we got thirty four dollars 39 so we got 39 dollars for this one we accepted the best offer i think it was we it was probably listed around 45 or so and generally what we do is we list a little bit higher and then we send like 10 dollar offers to to get people interested and that that has worked for us you know we we list it probably a little bit higher than everybody else would and when it comes up to send out offers then we we do that and sometimes we'll knock anywhere from five to ten dollars off and uh, we have pretty good luck doing that And I think the reason those free people trousers sold is because they're flare leg. They're a little bit bigger on the bottom, and that's that's what's in style right now. So Peter Millar. Peter Millar is one of those items that um, we buy it all the time. And when we buy it, it very rarely, rarely sits um, 
in the inventory too long. And you can see right now, we bought this in 724 is when we listed it and it's already sold. And we got best offer $35. So we took a best offer of 35. It's a little bit confusing because um, when you go back, the screen says 20 right here. So we must have taken an offer on that. Okay, here's another one. So this one is Sale to Sable. This is a dress that Kelly found not too long ago. And we don't find this brand too often, but we took a offer of 44 bucks. So that was a that was a really good find. And literally all we do is when we go through items, uh, clothing, clothing racks. Um, when we find an item that we've never heard of and it looks like it's a quality item, we look it up. And the first thing we do is we, we type in that item in eBay, in eBay. We look at how many are listed and then we look at how many are sold to figure out the, the sell-through rate. We shoot for 50% 50, 50, um, and above for our sell-through. We don't like to list items and, and let them sit. And over the last three years, we've gotten better and better and we're still getting better at that. I'd rather have sell less and move them quickly than have a bunch of stuff in inventory that sits there. All right. So this is another one of those items that we bought. I used to buy Hustle Gang all the time. I think I took a $8 offer or something on this. Hustle Gang. I don't buy it all anymore when I see it. I just leave it. I just leave it there. Next item. All right, this is a good one. So, <clears throat> looks like sixty dollars. We took an offer for sixty dollars on these. They were listed for seventy. And if you look at our past videos, we went to a garage sale, and we found literally there was like two hundred boxes of uh, Salvatore Ferragamo shoes, and we paid about a thousand bucks for all of those shoes. And there's no telling how much money we made. Off of the off of those shoes, they're almost all gone. Uh, we still have a few more listed, but but they're almost gone out of inventory. And um, yeah, that was a that was a killer deal. It was a really good uh, money maker for us. So Salvatore Ferragamo, don't forget those. All right, next item. All right, Gymshark. This is another one of those items. It was listed originally in five twenty four. And we took an offer for 22, it was listed for 32. So we, we you know, took $10 off of this item. Uh, it didn't move as quick as we wanted, so we, um, we wanted to get it out of the inventory and that's what we did. We set a $10 off, uh, uh, offer and we got that. And generally uh, on any items that you see that we list, um, clothing wise, we don't pay more than 10.99 for any clothing and usually 10.99 is what we pay for pants at Goodwill. Typically, tops are anywhere from $5.99 to $7.99, depending on what type it is. Gymshark is a solid brand. It's just, for whatever reason, this one didn't sell. This is one of the uh, the bummer items that I thought was going to do a lot better, but it didn't. And this, I definitely captured this on a video, and I was very excited to find it. Uh, I took an offer of $15 on this, and I thought it was going to sell for better, you know, like $30 or $35. But this was a Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker movie theater exclusive uh, popcorn bucket. And there was another um, one of these that wasn't the this this design that was going for higher. This wasn't the more desirable. So that's where I got uh, kind of bummed out on that. It didn't, didn't sell for as much as I thought it would. Next item. So I just found this the other day. Like This is like two or three videos ago. This is a Nolan Ryan Mitchell and Ness jersey. And I paid $7.99 for this. I listed it for $55 and took an, I took an offer for $40. Uh, this was a solid jersey. This thing was like super clean for being a white jersey or a gray jersey. And uh, it didn't have any flaws. You can see how clean it was. It was, uh, it was a really good shape. So that was a good find. Typically shirts, jerseys, stuff like that. We'll, um, we do $5 shipping. And um, heavier pants or items that are a little bit heavier, we do seven seven dollars. So Howler Brothers, I, I I'm actually surprised that this only sold for fifteen. 
Let's see what I originally had it. I had it originally had it listed for twenty two, and it sold for fifteen. Howler Brothers is a great, great item, our great, great brand. And uh, I don't even look it up anymore when I find it. When I find it, I just buy it, we list it, and it sells. And um, like two or three videos ago, I actually found a Howler Brothers shirt. If you guys were watching. And I thought that it was going to be, you know, just a random $30 shirt. And it turns out that Kelly listed that shirt for $150. It was a limited edition uh, Austin Football Club um, Howler Brothers shirt. So that was a good find. And we've got watchers on that right now. So I paid 6 bucks at most for that shirt. And we might get $125 for that. That was an excellent find. Before we get off here, I'll show you that shirt. I'll go back and uh, to our active listings, and I'll show I'll show you or show you. So also here, this is the third time that we have sold these. These shoes are Kelly's, Doc Martens from back probably in the 2000s or 90s, and uh, she just wanted to get rid of them. She never wore them anymore, and she got an offer for 75, and we took it. So they're gone again for like the second time. So we'll see if they sell. Liberty overalls. I used to buy these quite a bit, and I still pick them up if I can get them cheap enough. Um, these were originally listed for twenty nine, and I took an offer for twenty. It was one of those things where I just wanted to get rid of them, I guess. And somebody sent an offer, and I said, "Okay, I'll take it." But Liberty overalls, they're solid. They sell well. Um, just make sure they're in pretty good condition. If you get ones that are off, that are faded, or are really. Um, messed up here in the leg area. They're not gonna do too well. Next item, Tory Birch. Here's a great one. So we originally had this listed for, we got 75 for it. Let's see what we originally had it listed for, 85. So we took $10 off and we sold this Tory Birch. Uh, Tory Birch is one of those brands you'd never wanna pass up. This one was silk, so that pretty much sealed the deal. Um, anything silk, Wool, cashmere, um, linen does better than regular cotton items. It's it's always been like that. It's just a more desirable material. Plus, this dress was in excellent condition. I mean, there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. And Kelly took really good pictures. So, that was a nice one. All right, let's do a few more here. John Mark. So, we got 23 for this one. And we originally had it listed for 38 so we, we uh, took a, a pretty big discount on this just to get it moved. We, we kind of go in uh, spurts like that. When we, we want to get rid of items and we want to see our weekly uh, payouts go up a little bit, and we'll, we'll take offers or we'll send out offers and, and accept, accept a lower offer. I'd rather have stuff moving. That, that's my motto, guys. Let's, let's get it in inventory and get it out. We don't want to sit there for a while. But John Mark is an absolutely great brand. If you find John Mark, uh, pick it up every time. All right. So this one is actually, we sold two of these in the last week. And this is left over from the storage locker that we bought that had all of the appliance parts in it. And... Um, we have very little of this stuff left. It's almost all gone. Um, but we had, I think, six or seven of these left in stock, and we sold two of these in the last week. So that was an excellent find, uh, an excellent sell there. Next one. Okay, here's a cool one. So we took a $10 offer on this. This is part of an estate sale. Kelly bought this uh, this state sale a bunch of items on there and there were several jars full of 1980s 90s uh, costume jewelry and we've done very well on this stuff so we uh, listed this for 20 took an offer of 10 but we've already sold several groups of these uh, we listed them in different groups kind of like you see this one here paired some together and we've been getting 15 20 dollars a piece for each set that we've listed and we've got tons more to list i mean we literally probably have 30 more sets that we can make so we've made tons of money off that. We uh, we buy a, a little bit of everything. So we uh, we uh, definitely keep uh, keep things interesting. So I'm going to skip down and see maybe a couple more interest more interesting items. Show you something Nike. 
we hardly ever buy Nike anymore, but these actually sold for 20. I can't believe that. Peter Millar, again, it was a women's top. This one right here, it sold for uh, sold for 25. Soft surrounding, I'll do soft surrounding again because I love it so much. I talk about it all the time. So we had this originally listed for 89. We took an offer on it, but this dress was absolutely beautiful. I mean, the colors alone, oh, and it had tags, it was new with tags. No wonder it sold. So it was $140 brand new. And we got it, or yeah, brand new, and we resold it with tags for eight for let's see, we had originally had it listed for eighty nine, and we sold it for fifty five, probably paid ten bucks for it. Here's another one of the we sold this set for eighteen bucks. This is another one of the set of the uh, jewelry items that we got, and Kelly just picked these out and then kind of matched up the colors. We did good on that one, and I've, I've told, I'm telling you, we've sold several of these sets already, so we, we're making, still making money off of them. So I said I wanted to go over to the active listings and show you what we've got here lately that we've got listed, and I wanted to show you the the Haller Brothers shirt, and here it is right here. So initially, when I found this shirt, I thought, oh, cool, it's a Haller Brothers shirt. It's going to sell for you know, forty bucks, thirty bucks. And uh, we got it home, and Kelly started looking it up, and this is actually a limited edition. So, 2021 Howler Verde collection, Verde collection, and it's a soccer soccer shirt. And I paid $7.99, and we're gonna list it for $149. I think we got watchers already, so that's a good find. But anyway, one of the viewers wanted to see uh, what sold on eBay, so I decided to go ahead and add that to this video. We're going to close it out here, guys, but like always, if you keep watching, we'll keep making videos, and we'll see you soon.